it's Nirvana again. Um, you are seeing these videos throughout the week, so you're not seeing them all on the same day. I am reviewing J Rob Protein Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the no junk protein bar made with whey protein, high protein J Bar. This one is the Fudge Brownie. No soy protein, no gluten, no glycerin, no molotol, no asiflumicase, no aspartame, no hydrogenated oils, no artificial sweeteners, and no trans fats. So, J. Rob, over here. Uh, I did got my handy dandy coffee. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Do 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 do. Halloween all the time or a day in my house because this is my favorite. It's the coffee cup ever. Alright. So, there are just pretend I said organic in front of all this stuff because you know I hate that. Almond butter, agave syrup, whey protein crisps, whey protein concentrate, tapioca starch, calcium carbonate, whey protein isolate again, um, cocoa powder, gum arabic, arabic gum, I don't know what that is, um, almonds, natural flavors, and sea salt, that's it. Warning for your allergy loving people, these are made, uh, contains milk products, which is whey, obviously, I hope you know that. Uh, tree products, which is almonds and traces of cashew, coconut, this product is manufactured in a facility that processes other things which make it so it contains soy, milk, wheat, tree nuts, cocoa, peanuts, and eggs. Excuse me. Now, uh, nom, nom, nom. I actually had, um, actually had some uh, of the J-Rob drinks as well, but there's nothing wrong with them. The taste isn't bad at all. I don't do whey protein um, in drink form. I just can't do it. My stomach does not like it. I actually got very sick uh, from trying to drink it. My stomach does not like whey protein in a drink form. So I can eat whey protein in upside down form. I can eat whey protein in a, in a bar, um, but I cannot drink it. I just it won't, my stomach's like, nope. <laughs> now, I mentioned in a couple of my other videos that, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing some solo reviews because we've got some scheduling conflicts and some of this stuff is the stuff that I have specifically. So, right now we're a little discombobulated. We are trying to figure stuff out so we can have everybody, um, you know, I promise things will get on a more even keel. Um, that's why we're doing so, so many reviews and then we're releasing them throughout the week so you're not getting, you know, 10 videos all at once and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I'm going to open this bad boy. All right, this is the fudge brownie. It's a little sticky. All right, for me, it, it feels very dense and hard, um, but you can see the protein crisps in it. I definitely smell some protein in there of some sort. Doesn't smell bad. The bar is 57 grams. I don't know why they wouldn't put that in ounces, but whatever the hell 57 grams is. Um, Alright, so here we go. First impression. Very soft. Nice and chocolatey. Um, you know those crispy bits. You know what it reminds me of? Remember those shitty, I shouldn't say shitty. Well, the what, what, wait, that's bad. Okay. Retract that word. Remember? <laughs> no, I didn't mean it that way, I promise, but it seems like I did. Sorry, J-Rop. 
Remember those little Debbie brownies, the ones with the little tiny fudge thing on the top of them? With the little uh, walnuts in them, you can get for like 30, well, you could get 35 cents when I was a kid. Remember those? The texture and the chocolate taste is very much like that. It's not bad. I don't taste any. I don't taste any whey protein. I don't taste. It's not up front. I don't smell. Now that it's open. Any whey protein. It's actually quite nice. I dig it. All right. What's the stats on this bad boy? Oh, I tore it off. Oh, Lord. 220 gram, uh, uh, calories, 220 calories, 15 protein, uh, 25 carbs, 6 fiber. I'm sorry, J-Rob, I really am, but again, I'd go back to the quest. Your net carbs and the 20 grams of protein and the texture and taste. Uh, I have blackberry stuff on me. But if you're looking um, to try something a little different, maybe you don't like your Quest bars, nice alternative. Doesn't smell bad. Certainly does not taste bad. Look, I'll even buy, I'll even buy it again. So, very brownie like. It does say fudge brownie. Very brownie like. I had the peanut one um, a while ago. Like maybe almost a month ago. And that one was good too. Very soft. Um, but for what you can get in a Quest bar, I'd go with Quest. I'm sorry. Um. But, again, if you're not into Quest Bars or you're just looking for something a little different with a little different texture, this is not terrible. It's just, it's got 25 carbs. So, you end up getting 21 carbs with the dietary fiber. Um, not, ten, not 10 carbs with the dietary fiber. Um, 11 sugars and then 5 sugar alcohols. And then you only get 15 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat. Um, again, I'm not saying this is bad. I'm really not. It's not bad. It tastes really good. I want you to li I want you to know that. I just, in my opinion of things that I review, I would go back to getting, you know, Quest Bars. Sorry. All right, guys. Um, this is my last solo review. Um, you will see this probably two weeks from now because today's like the 17th. Or 18th. I think today's the 18th. So you'll see this in a few days from now. Um, I love you. Oh, in case we haven't picked a winner yet, go to the the Pro Bar. We are doing a giveaway with the Pro Bar. They're offering a big box of them. Um, you want to try these. You really do. Even if you're just about to have surgery, you want to try these. Okay, I got one more vlog. I got an actual vlog vlog to do. And I'll talk to you later. Mm, bye.